Hey guys, welcome to our channel Code Arcade. So in today's video, we are going to talk about our next topic in Robot Framework, which is closing single and multiple browsers in Robot Framework. So here in this video, we are going to open some browsers and then we will try to close all the browsers. So I'm going to go to my projects panel here. I'm going to create a new robot file in my automation directory. Let's name this directory as close browser dot robot and if I press enter this will create a new environment for me to write a program. So I am going to start my program by first typing settings. So this section will contain all the library. So I am going to specify my library here selenium library. So in our settings section we have imported our library which is selenium library and then we are going to create our second section which is the test case section. We didn't create variable section because we don't want that section in our program. So we started directly with test cases. So here I am going to write my test case name which is closing browser and here so this will be our name of our test case and inside the indentation of closing browser we are going to write our program. So first we are going to open our first browser. So for that, there is a command called open browser. And here I'm going to, let's say open google.com. So HTTPS then colon and forward slash forward slash www.google.com. And here I am going to open this website in Chrome. So this will open google.com in Chrome. And after opening, I'm going to maximize the browser window. And after maximizing, I am going to give a speed so that for three seconds, so that I will be able to see the changes it makes. So again, after sleep, I am going to open another browser. So let's say open browser. And here in this case, let's open flipkart.com. So HTTPS and colon forward slash forward slash www.flipkart.com. And here, I'm going to open flipkart.com in Chrome browser. So after that, I'm going to maximize the browser window and then I'm going to give sleep again for three seconds so that I'm going to see the changes it makes. Now, after both of my browsers are open, let's close our browser. So for that, there is one command called close browser. So you must have seen this command many times in our previous videos. So what this closed browser was doing, it was closing the browser that we opened here. But in this case, there are two browsers open. So actually, this closed browser can only close the latest browser. So this was the first browser. This was the second and the latest browser. It can close only this latest browser, not the first one that we opened. So let's run this program here in our terminal. Let's write a robot and then this will call the robot function. And then I'm going to specify my name of my directory. So automation and here I'm going to specify my name of a file. So close browser dot robot is a name of a file. And if I press enter, you can see it opened Google. After three seconds, it will open Flipkart on another browser and this will wait for three seconds. After waiting for three seconds, it will only close the latest browser, which was Flipkart.com. See, it was not able to close Google.com, which was the first browser. So I'll manually close this. And here you can see test is passed. So basically it, it closed only this latest browser, not this one. So this was only for closing the latest browser. And I'll make this command as comment so that you won't confuse what I'm writing. So this is a comment, inline comment. So now this code will not be executed. So close browser was only for closing the latest browser. So now to close all both of these browsers, what we need to do is there is a command called close all browsers. So now this will close 
both the browsers here. Browser 1 which was google.com and browser 2 which was flipkart.com. So now again if I go to my terminal and here I am going to write cls. This will clear the my terminal and I am going to write again robot automation close browser dot robot. If I press enter, this will open Google in my first browser. It will wait for three seconds. After waiting, it will open another browser for Flipkart. And after waiting for three seconds, it will close both the browsers, Flipkart also and Google also. So see, it closed both the browsers and our test is passed. So this is how you can close single and multiple browsers. So close browser closed both the browser window. So now if I go to my projects panel and if I open this log file onto my browser, you can see test execution log, all our commands are passed. You see it opened the browser, it maximized the browser window and it slept for three seconds and opened google.com. Then it opened another browser called flipkart.com. It maximized that browser window and it went slip and it slept for three seconds. After that, it closed both the browsers. So close all open browsers and reset the browser cache. If I go to my report file, here you can see everything is green, which means our test is passed. And this is our code here. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video. Thank you. Happy learning.